Hello there. This is meant to be a quick overview and installation of Haiku OS. So Haiku is an open source operating system that specifically targets personal computing. Inspired by the BOS. Currently, Haiku cannot resize existing partitions, therefore, you either need to already have an empty partition where you can install Haiku. Haiku requires minimum 700 megabytes of disk space. When it comes to downloading there is a 32-bit and 64-bit version available. Now for making a bootable USB drive. We will be using Rufus application. Select the USB and ISO file. Now click start. So after creating your bootable Haiku drive, restart your computer and boot from the USB device. This panel lets you set the system language and key map. Now you decide to either install Haiku on a partition by clicking run installer, or try out Haiku by booting to the desktop directly from USB. Click on continue to proceed to the installer. Now click on Setup Partition to start drive setup. Haiku's Partition Manager shows the disks and partitions that have been identified. Now select the partition you want to install Haiku on. To initialize a partition to the B file system, right click on the layout graphic of the selected partition. Format and select B file system. Close Drive Setup By clicking on the Close widget on the left upper corner Now choose your new initialized partition and click on Begin Now we need to restart To complete the installation When it comes to open source operating system Linux is the undisputed champions. But Haiku OS, a microkernel OS, brings the BOS foundation to the modern age by adding up to date drivers and updating its software store, Haiku Depot, with the latest open source program commonly found on Linux. Haiku's predecessor, BOS, founded by former Apple CEO Jean Louis Gosset in the early 1990s, the BOS GUI was developed on the principles of clarity and a clean, uncluttered design. In 2001, BOS copyrights were sold to Palm Incorporated as a result, Haiku OS was born in 2004. Four years later, the project registered its own website. Today, Haiku has more than 100 contributors, mainly from the US and the EU, and their hard work really shows. Now Haiku support UEFI. Boot wireless drivers compatible with FreeBSD, ships with a working software store out of the box, and offers lots of great open source software program, including LibreOffice. So that's the brief story of Haiku. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.